What's up everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in and in today's video, you're gonna watch me wholesale real estate live. Yeah, that's right, I'm gonna be picking up the phone, calling motivated sellers and I'm gonna be picking up the phone and calling cash buyers on this video, trying to lock up a wholesale deal and also working on selling wholesale deals in this video. That being said, if you're trying to learn how to wholesale real estate, there is no better way to learn than just watching me do it firsthand. So that being said, this video is gonna be value packed for you so make sure you stick around and watch the video from the beginning all the way to the end and if you're not already subscribed to the channel go down below hit the red button and subscribe it helps me reach more people so I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe now first off I want to just go over what I use to wholesale real estate so let me go ahead and share my screen with you and show you that the first and main thing that I use is the heart of my business this is my wholesaling CRM it is whole scale CRM there's a link down below in the description for this and you are able to go get a full demo of the platform. But essentially what it does is when you go out there and conduct marketing to find motivated sellers, it's gonna create a seller lead profile for each and every motivated seller for you and organize all their information, keep track of what marketing channel the lead came from. And when you try to contact them and, they're, and you're not able to reach them, it's gonna send them a text and an email letting them know you tried to reach them automatically. It's gonna organize each lead by what status is it in? Is it a new lead? Is it interested? Is it not interested? It's gonna tag and organize the lead by its temperature. Is it a hot, warm, cold lead? And it's gonna organize each lead by the most important thing, the motivation. What's the reason for the seller selling the property? Are they a tired landlord, death, divorce, and so on? And this system automatically follows up with the sellers for you on an ideal sequence with texts and emails. Yeah, it's gonna automatically follow up with sellers for you and then contract creation. It is gonna generate the contracts for you to send to the seller at the click of a button. So no longer fill out contracts word by word when trying to send an offer. At just the click of a button, you are able to send an offer. So that way you can send more offers out and lock up more deals. And then over here on the right hand side, you're able to make all your comments. So as I'm talking to the seller, I'll take down all my notes right here, which is super helpful. That is just a very brief overview of one part of this system. And it's the main part that I'm gonna be using in this video, but it also handles your full, full transactions department, dispositions department, cash buyers, title companies, team members, key performance metrics, everything for a wholesaling business is right here. And you can go check that out at wholescalecrm.com and get a full demo of the platform and also go read about it. So that's what I'll be using on my left-hand screen. And then on my right-hand screen, once I'm talking to a motivated seller, I need to be able to look up the property and have all the information about the property. So for that, I use PropStream. PropStream lets you look up any property across the country. It's gonna give you all the information about that property. Bed, bath count, square footage, year build, owner information, all of that. And then it's also gonna give you the comparable sale data. So you're gonna be able to see what the properties in the area are selling for. You're gonna be able to see how much each property is selling for. So that way you can figure out what your property is worth. And then from there, calculate the offer. And then the final thing that I'm gonna be using is my offer calculator. This offer ca calculator is available at jacobblank.com slash shop. If you are struggling to calculate the offer, this is a no brainer. Once I figure out what the property is worth on PropStream, I then just plug that value into this offer calculator. It's gonna run all the numbers for me and spit out my MAO, my maximum allowed offer to make the seller and give me an offer range to make the seller. So guys, if you're struggling to figure out what to offer, I highly recommend you go get this offer calculator. It's available at jacoblink.com shop. There's gonna be links down below in the description for all of this. These are the three main things that I'm gonna be using in this video. And I just wanted to share that with you so that way you know what I'm doing on my computer as I'm calling sellers. With that being said though, let's get right into it. All right, let's call. and Google Voice will try to connect you. Hey, calling to give you the offer for your property in Buckeye. Hello, this is Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Uh, I just got your information through our website a few hours ago for an offer for your property in Buckeye. Yes. Okay. I 
for some reason the full address didn't come through. Can you give me the address? Uh, yes, hold on. <clears throat> is this Premier? No, this is I Buy America. Oh, okay. Houses yep. nationwide? Yes, sir, we do. Okay. All right, here's the address 25576 West Samantha Way, Buckeye, Arizona. <coughs> okay. 85326. I got it. So it's listed on the market for 355 right now. Is that right? Yeah, but I have um, a signed contract with the seller uh, for what what I sent to you. <clears throat> I don't have an asking price from you. How much are you looking to get for it? My, it, it it's a sub two deal, so you're just taking over the seller's payments. There's a tenant in place, spending twenty one hundred a month. And all I'm looking for is fifty thousand, and take it. Okay. How much is how much is the payment to the seller every month? All right. What's Let me start from the beginning. What was your name again? Jacob. But but real quick, how much is the payment that you're that that because if they're paying twenty one hundred a month in rent, how much is the the payment to the mortgage and to the seller per month? P I full P I T I yes. fifteen hundred a month. Fifteen hundred? So not bad, but I wouldn't wanna I couldn't enter I wouldn't want to enter for uh fifty thousand. What's the remaining mortgage balance? The first is that two seventy two and he's got an eleven year balloon on this uh and it's sixty seven thousand he carries. <clears throat> yeah. I don't think this is something we'd be interested in, unfortunately. So what so how much would you be interested in it for? Uh I don't I don't know. How about this? I want you to call w one of my partners that I work with that buys a lot of stuff like this and he he okay. he might be interested. So let me give you his number. Go ahead. Glendale, Arizona and one's in a Place called Santan Valley. Yeah, I know those areas. Um, How, call Brandon. Yeah. Call Brandon. Tell him Jacob Blank sent you, and lay out all these deals to him. He buys stuff okay. like this constantly, so he'll be able to. Okay. He'll really. He's the guy to be connected with on this stuff. Okay. All right, Caleb. Thank you so much it, for the call. Jacob. Jacob. Jacob Blank. Jacob. Jacob. Thank you, Jacob. All right. Bye. That's a wholesaler with a sub two deal. And the numbers don't really make too much sense to me. All right, on to the next one. Double dial. Please leave your message for four zero four five zero. Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property. Call me back.
All right, I got to go grab something to eat, and then I'll be right back on the phones. Hi, Jacob. Stay on so long. Hi. How are you? Doing good. So did you talk to okay. your family? Yeah, I talked to them. What's the, the verdict? The ones that matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I've got a couple of questions. Go ahead. Is there any way that you're going to back out after I sign it? No, there's no way we would back out unless like we came to the property and there was like a huge foundation issue that you never told us about and you lied. So as long as you've been truthful, we're good to go. There is no foundation issue. Right. Well, like for example, sometimes we'll get a property under contract. I'll ask you all these questions about it. And then I'll show up at the house eventually, and then there's a huge foundation crack, and they never mentioned it. In that case, I couldn't buy it anymore. But I'm sure you've been honest because you're an honest lady, and you're sweet. So I'm sure you're not lying to me. So we're we're good to go at, at that price, and yeah, we we won't back out on you. I have some people that would beg to differ with you on the nice part. On the what part? On the nice part. The not part. The nice part. The nice, oh, with you. Okay, I, hate, I yeah. think you're nice so far. Every second I've talked to you, you've been super nice. I try. Well, we got to, right? That's all we can do. That's correct. And you know what? Okay, when you so when you try to be nice, nice things come back to you in this world. I feel like that's kind of how it works. So. Uh, closing would be the 29th of March. Yep. Let's hand you the keys, and I'm out. That is correct. Taxes should have been paid in November. And wouldn't come due again until November. Uh huh. Oh. I never ever thought she would come up with come up to the price of some of all that. You never thought I would beat what the neighbor was saying, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm. Yeah, he told me you were a scam artist. Who did? I was going to find out with no money and no house. And That's impossible. No way to do that. It's not how real estate works. You own it. I can't just take it from you. So the neighbor's you know, saying I'm a scam artist? Yeah, everybody's been saying. I'm, I'm not a scam artist. I buy a lot of property. Been doing this for a long time. Been honest and good to you from. Well, it doesn't sound like you're. But I want. You. What'd you say? It cut out. I, I said your voice doesn't sound like you're twenty. Yeah, I'm young. I mean, I'm not fifty years old. No, but this is what I do for you're a living. Not so caught here like me. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I've been doing this for seven years, and this is what I do for a living. It's my passion. It's my joy. I love buying real estate, fixing it up, and either reselling it or renting it, um, and that's what I do, and I'm the real deal. I'm not, not a scam artist. Okay, and there was one question. Uh, I've looked this thing over, over and read it to 1,400 people <laughs> in a short time I talked to you. Yeah.
Any other questions about it? Yeah, I'm trying to find it. Trying to find it? Okay. Oh, and it says this is agreement is subject to your buyer financial partner. To our financial to huh? a, Yeah, finish your question. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, how long does that take to well they're on board? They're they're on board already. Um that's in there just in case we did come to your house and there was something way different than what you told us, like a huge foundation issue, then our financial partners wouldn't approve at that point. But they approve of everything now, so we already have the green light for that. We're good to go. Okay. I'm about to do this. All right, well, there's a, if you have it opened up, down at the bottom, there's a spot for your autograph and then uh, there's a spot for the date. And then once you do that, just follow the prompts. And then once I have it back, I'll sign it and then I'll send it back to you. Now you'll have a good amount of money to get get a mobile in a 55 plus, yeah. so that's good. Okay, I did it. All right, let me see. Oh, that was the one thing I had. I know the inside of the house, other than my personal belongings. So, in my garage, I have a refrigerator and a freezer also. But I want to take that because some of the trailers don't have refrigerators or they don't have soap. Yeah, if it's in your garage, go ahead and take it. Okay. Um, I, I don't have it back. Is there anything on your screen that says next or complete? Yeah, it says I'm at finish. Yep, yeah, click finish. Okay, I hit finish. All right, let me see. One more step. Enter has to know. I think I got it. Let me just see. I don't know why it's not updating on my end. Yeah, I got it. So I'm signing it now. It's going to send you back the final copy, okay? Okay. And we've got a deal, all right? We got a deal. All right. I'm looking forward to working with you. Truly, I, I think you're a sweetheart. I don't know why you're saying you're not nice. I'm excited to work with you. As everybody that calls me, I'm a southern redneck. <laughs> I, say, I say what's on my mind, and it might be nice and clean, and it might be... Well, there you go. That's how... It's not supposed to talk like that. Well, that's how I am, too. So uh, we'll, get, we'll get along well. Correct. Sweet. All right. Well, um, there we go. We got that. We'll get, we'll get title opened up with our title company, and they'll reach out to you in a couple weeks, and... Uh, We'll just work through the process, okay? All right. All right. Thank well, you, yeah, appreciate it. And uh, you have a good rest of your day, and we'll talk soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. There we go. Just locked up a good deal in Florida. Let's go. House is on an acre, has a pool, locked it up for 300 It's worth at least 450 I think. So that's a banger. Now I'm going to go get lunch, and then I'll get back to calling. All right, let's keep calling. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system.
your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. No answer. Yeah, we move on to the next one. Hey, I missed your call earlier. I think you were calling for an offer for your property. Uh, you, you might have uh, right, right now with a, a, a grandson. I don't, I don't, know, what, don't know which property it would have been. Do you want an offer for a piece of real estate? Yeah, I was, I was getting some calls. I'd like to... I uh, somebody forgot to call me back after the first year, but I got I go to the doctor tomorrow for tests, and then I well my, I go to be honest with this Tuesday Thursday and the next two Fridays, so it'd be better that last week of January February you might say instead of. I got too much other stuff going so, on even one of the properties. Okay, so you have a property you want to sell though, is that correct? Yeah, that's that's there's a company that I was getting there's been things mailed to me and different stuff. Okay, what's your name? Ronald Scott. Alright, and then what's the address of the property you want to sell? There's one at 10790 Tarrytown, the other one's 705 Creel. But like I said, right now I got this little one I'm, the grandson I'm calling with right now. I just ain't got, ain't no sense talking about nothing that I can take time out for it, so I'm trying to say. Okay, so you don't want me to make you an offer for them right now? It, would, it wouldn't matter what, what you offer me right now. I'm, I'm tied up with the doctors the next couple of weeks. All right, I'll call you back uh, in a couple of weeks. Hey, thank, thank you. Uh, well, it's, uh, I go tomorrow and Thursday and then next Friday and then the next uh, first February that week. Okay, that sounds good. That would give me, that would just see what the hell they decide, what is going on supposed to be going on or what's going wrong or something. Okay. Just to be, just to be, not be rude or nothing, but that's just, just what issues going on here at home now to, so we can find out. All right, well, I'll call you in a couple weeks, okay? You have a good rest of your day. Thank you. And who am I speaking with? My name's Jacob with iBuyAmerica.com. Okay, all right, thank you, Jacob. Yeah, of course. You have a great rest of your day. Bye. about the rental property. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, 
Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hey, call me back about that offer for your property. Talk soon. Hey, calling you back about that offer and the agreement. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. So, um, uh, what, well, what, what exactly uh, is the process? Okay, if I, if I sign the agreement, we get the ball rolling. Yep, so this is how the process works. You sign the offer, we sign the offer, then we have the final copy, and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up escrow at the title company we use. That title company is going to do a title search and they're going to reach out to you, collect some information from you, and then they're pretty much going to prepare all the documents for closing. We just wait for the close of escrow day. On the close day, you're going to sign closing docs. We're going to sign closing docs. We're then going to send the money into the title company. Around noon, it will record with the county and then they'll send you your money via a wire or a check. Um, I gotta take this call real quick. Sorry, it's a, an emergency. Let me let me call you right back, okay? All right, no problem. All right, thanks. All right, let's call this guy back. I had to take that call. Hey. Hello. It's me calling you back. So yeah. that's how the process works. Well, uh, it sounds pretty cut and dry. Yep, it's just uh, like any other real estate transaction. The only difference is we're buying it in as is condition and we're paying cash. Other than that, right. everything is done exactly the same as any other real estate sale. Right. All right, well, uh, um, let me, let me, let me, uh, and just think about it for a day and, uh, and I'll get back with you. I'll, I'll sign the papers if I, I, I go. All uh, right. Just a lot uh, off for Sam. Usually we try to get it back within 24 hours. So try to get it back to me by tomorrow. Okay. All right. What's your name again? My name's Jacob and we're I Buy America. Jacob. Yep, iBuyAmerica.com is how you found us. That's right. Okay. All right, All right man. All right. Go. Yep. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye. All right. See ya. Yeah. Don't jump on it. Okay, let's make some more calls. Double dial.
four nine three zero three eight nine is not available. Hey, call me back for the offer for your property. Talk soon. Thanks. Automatic voice. No answer. Hello? Hello. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested. Yes. Awesome. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Awesome. So you, you're looking at it. Have you looked at it? No. Uh, you filled out a form on our website requesting an offer. So I just want to ask you a couple questions about it, and then I can make you the offer. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Perfect. So let me see here. So I ju it's the one on Cotter Drive, right? Yeah. Fifty one sixty five Cotter Drive. How old is the roof? It's a new house, new construction. Okay. So it's, it's, it's new. Okay. How much are you looking to get for it? How much I'm looking for? Uh, two forty. Uh, it's got an appraisal up at three ninety something. Okay. What's the reason you're selling it? I built the house to sell. You built it to sell it. Got it. Yeah, I built the two set. And you want two forty, is that right? That's right. Okay. Um why do you think it's been on the market for thirty days and hasn't sold? Because I have somebody else came out and and brought me a cash offer, but they try to flip it and they put it on the market. Not me. But the contract just expired today. I mean, January 8th. Okay, so you don't have it. You're not the one that has it listed on the market right now. No, I'm not. That's not me. That's somebody else. Mm. Yeah, that's somebody else. I, don't, I, just, I have a cash offer contract from them. And they yeah, and they they, and you it. didn't know they were going to put it on the MLS like that, huh? I sure didn't. They didn't say anything about that. All they told me is that they can close in 30 days. And they did that on December 3rd. And in the December was the was contract, but I gave them to January 8th today. I'd have to be closer to 200 on it. If you go do 220, how, how soon can you close? We can close in 21 days. I'll do 220 if you, if you can do that. I mean, it's got 300 days. Yeah? You got, you got three, uh, four bedrooms, three baths. How many bedrooms, how many baths? It's four bedrooms and three, four baths. All right, let me, let me, let me look into yeah, it a bit. And, and, and call me back, because I, I got a bunch of offers, but I'm, I haven't made a deal yet. But if you can do two... Uh, 2.30, I, I might entertain 2.20 if you could close right away. All right, let me look into it a bit more, and I'll get back to you. Okay. All right, bye. Hey, did we? I, I'm calling you about the offer for your property. Did we talk about that yet? What's your name? My name's Jacob. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. My bad. I'll call you in February, okay? All right. Yep, bye. All right, let's call some buyers. Calling some cash buyers now. Hello. Hey, it's Jacob calling you about the Colorado Springs property. Hey, how's it going, man? Going good. How about you? Oh, not too bad. Just trying to get out of the office for the day, but yeah, um, me too. Driving, driving, in traffic. Um. So let's see. You're at three hundred thousand. You want two day inspection, and you'll do twenty five hundred earnest money. Yeah. Let's see. Um. I don't know, man. I I don't like that inspection period. I'd rather just call it done. You know, make a deal and call it done. Yeah. Unfortunately, I live an hour from the area and would need to get a couple contractors in there to get close to rehab. Obviously haven't seen the property yet myself, so um don't you I, could I'm you could you walk it before man. going to contract? So that way we know we're good to go. Yeah, I mean to be to be honest, I probably won't set foot in the property until the work's already begun. Um no what I'm saying is can you can be, you send a contractor before we go under contract so that way we're just good to go for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I have no problem doing that, but the other thing is, is I would end up having to pay for um, the, the quotes and the time of people getting out there. Some people require deposits for a quote. Um, and then the other thing is, is I'm looking at quite a few other options as well, too. Um, so, I mean. Okay, yeah, well, I, mean, I don't want to get. That can work. I don't want to tie myself up for two days. So, we would have to have That'd you. Be, hasn't it already been like two weeks since we talked about this originally? No. It was, we talked on uh, Friday about it. I remember us talking about this before the New Year. No. The first time we spoke was on Thursday, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, my apologies. Like I said, I've been looking at a couple, but... Um, yeah, but, yeah, I mean, are you, trying to, re, are you trying to re-wholesale this, or are you going to be the end buyer? We would be closing on it. We, we close on it. So, I mean, and again, if this isn't something that can work for you, I, I have plenty of other options. And I mean, it might work, but you don't have a yeah. you don't have a contractor that you use a lot that can go walk it. So that way, you know, we have multiple that we use, but um, we have to get quotes from every single person to make sure that she's getting, giving us the best option. Okay, well, we couldn't do like five walkthroughs. That's not going to work. Yeah, we would only need one hour where the property is vacant pretty standard hmm all right well uh, I'll see what I can do and and if we can take that and then I'll let you know okay okay yeah sounds like we're pretty much where we were when we last left off yeah I mean the thing is there's a few other people calling about the deal and you want two days inspection rather than just walk like we could set something up for tomorrow and then you check it out, it's good to go, then we go to contract, no inspection period, and we're good to go. And I, I would accept 300 if you could, if you can do it like that. Yeah, no, I, I understand. That's just not how my process works. Whenever we're working on four or five projects at a time, we have to make sure that we have interest in it before we even put any kind of time into it or money. Do you have proof of funds you can send me? Yeah. Okay, no send me your proof of funds because that gets us closer to, to where we can get
gets me closer to. Yeah, and let me ask you this: Are you in Colorado Springs? No. Okay, and so you're just wholesaling from Phoenix. Yep. Okay, and um, let me ask you this: If there's no other option for you guys, it doesn't seem like you guys necessarily um, really have any other direction to go. Because I mean, if you don't have any other higher offer, um, I don't really understand a different decision. I mean, we have other people that are right around what you're offering. There, we have one that's a little bit lower, and then we have a couple that we're waiting on receiving an offer from. So, your yeah. offer is not the only offer. Yeah, I offered on this one um, directly to the seller back in the beginning of December, 275, um, and that was directly through an agent that we worked with. Yeah, well, now we have it under contract, obviously, you know. Right. Yeah. So I mean, different time of the year, so we're willing to pay a little bit more for it at this time. But um, at the same time, at that there's no garage, so we've never been super thrilled about the deal, anyways. Okay. Well, send me your proof of funds, and then I'll see if I can consider doing the two-day inspection period. Okay. No problem. Do you have an email you want me to send that to? Or do you want me to send it to you via text? Yeah, I'll text you my email. Okay. All right, thanks. Bye. I mean, that's not super great. The number you dialed could not be reached. Hey, uh, you called me about our Colorado Springs deal? Oh, Colo Colorado City? Colorado Springs. Oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's called a few places. Um, anyway, I thought you were someone else. Um, what, what place is this? Is it on Craigslist or something? No, you, you got an email from us from like InvestorLift, FastWholesaleDeals.com. Oh, oh, okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a phone call on you yesterday. Yeah, are you a buyer? Uh, investor. In, okay. And or a buyer, yes. Yeah, investor, buyer, okay, sounds good. And did you want to make an offer on this property? I would. I would. Um, okay. I drove by it. Uh huh. Um, and uh, I haven't pulled up comparables. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was already gone, so I didn't uh, spend the time to. Uh, you know what I mean? Pull up the CMA on it. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'd have to do do that. Um, but uh, you guys are asking uh, three fifteen, Maria. Yeah, we're asking three fifteen for it. Yep. Okay, got that right. Um, what about the access uh, to view the inside? We could view it. We can get you. It's appointment only, but uh, we would want you to obviously run comps first. Make sure you yeah. feel like you think you'd be around what we're asking for it. Look at the photos, run comps, and then once you feel like you'd be around what we're asking and it's not going to be a waste of both of our time, then we'll get you in there to see it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, um, oh, I've had uh, three of them kind of slip, slip, slip through my fingers. Today I was going to uh, buy one through a wholesaler today. Uh, the showing wasn't until tomorrow, but they had an as-is price at 425, and uh, and uh, that went sight unseen. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean we're this one's still available, but I mean we do have a few people calling on it. Yep. We have an offer at 300, and then we have two other people waiting to put in an offer, and then one guy saying he could do 310, but he wants to walk it. So. 
Okay. So we do we do have some offers. So I'm just hoping I'm trying to get 315, and it's not sold yeah. yet. And you know you have some time to analyze the deal and let us know. When does this other person want to view it? Uh, well, the thing is with that one, they want a two day inspection period, which I don't want to do. I want them to view it before going to contract. So that way, once we're in contract, everything's just good to go. So I haven't scheduled uh, it with them know, yet. I, the answer is yeah, I haven't just, scheduled it yet with them. Um, the way I work is um, um, I'm, I'm fully funded, no problem with theirs. So that is not that is not an issue. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Because I, I I get hard money, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've got a I've got a, a letter that says they'll they'll lend me up to a million dollars basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Number. But um, you know I'm paying twelve thirteen percent interest only. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyway, and then I still have to bring my own cash to the table, which is um, uh, 15%, you know what I mean? So um, you typically at the table, um, and I've got the money, I'd have to bring 50, 60,000. I'd have to crunch numbers. But, um, so that's that. Um, it's, uh, I do buy places in as is condition. Um, as far as an inspection, uh, just to give you a time frame, if we were to go under contract, I'd have an, uh, an inspection without, uh, uh, you know, a objection without an objection or resolution deadline on the contract. So basically, I'm in or out. But I'd like to have from the point of uh, yeah. going so under contract, I I take care of that within a week. So what we do is we we only accept offers that are as is cash offers yeah. that have no due diligence and no contingencies and, and that have hard non-refundable earnest money so if you're cool um, with that yeah. what, what uh, what's your earnest money yeah nor normally we want five thousand but we'll do three thousand okay so um and what would be a target uh closing on it for, for you guys just as soon as possible but we have you know 14 days pretty much the standard stuff okay 14 days and uh, obviously it looks like uh, it looks like it's going through it went through an estate I mean I can just tell by looking at the outside it, it looks like you know what I mean yeah the, the, ramp in there. yeah they're gonna get rid of that ramp oh are they would they would they leave it uh, yeah, they're wanting somebody to buy it. Okay, well, we, we can throw around details like that later. I but, mean, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I they don't want that much for it, I don't think. It's a, uh, it's, um, it's a wheelchair ramp, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, um, in, in real estate, um, sometimes having a wheel, uh, handicap access is actually, you know, valuable so they're easier easier to take down than they are to uh install so but anyway um let's do that uh i'll do my homework tonight uh is this a good number to press you back at yeah and i uh, i can give you my cell phone number let me give you my cell phone are you ready yes go ahead what's, what's your first name jacob jacob okay jacob I wonder how you got my email, but um, we can discuss that later. Don't know. So, you're on a, somehow you're a buyer that got put in this system of buyers that we email. Great. Let me do, let me do my homework and. Um, okay. The property, uh, the property is really clean. It's in really great shape. It's outdated, but it's like, I mean, you couldn't ask for a homeowner to take better care of it. So this is a good solid oh. deal. I would buy it if I was in town. I'm just in Arizona, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I noticed the 482. Um, <coughs> perfect. Um, I am extremely interested in it. Um, but let me let me do. Uh, I'm I am a realtor. I'm not looking for listing or anything. I just work on my own. But the advantage to that is I can do my own comparables. You know, yeah. So run favorite. your numbers. So. You know, there's value there. We're selling it for a lot less than what it's worth. You can flip it. You can buy it and rent it. You can do whatever you want. There's money in this deal. It's a good deal. Oh yeah. I will. Uh, I'll 
I'll get back to you. Uh, I'll get back to you uh, definitely before ten o'clock my time, which is I think you're an hour earlier. So. Okay, that sounds good. I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you. All right, Appreciate bye. It. Hey, uh, you were calling about the Jonesboro property, Lombardi. Yeah, how you doing? How you doing today, brother? Doing good. How about you? I'm doing well. Me and my partner. So I went by there and looked at it the other day when you gave it a call, and my partner wanted to look at it before we put an offer in, but we just didn't make it today because the weather was getting bad in Atlanta. It's about the. Are you in Atlanta? No, I'm in Arizona. Okay, the weather was getting bad. I only saw the storms, and they said the power was going to be out. So. I went ahead and just got a couple of groceries and stuff like that. And we're going to go by there tomorrow. They said it's going to lighten up around 5. Okay. Did you, already get an offer? Did you already get an offer on it? Yeah, we have a couple offers, um, and we're just kind of waiting to accept one. So you, you said you're going to go see it tomorrow again and then put in your final offer? Yeah, I'm going to take my partner tomorrow. Okay. All right, go in the morning and then call me. Okay, it'll be it'll be um, probably around one or two around that time. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I like the house. I did a house around the corner from there, and it sold fairly quickly. Well, let's make so it happen for, then. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with the area, and then I live like 15 minutes from there, so I'm not far. Okay, brother. So I give you a call. What was it, Jake? Was it Jake or? Yeah, Jake. Jake. Okay, Jake. I give you a call, and I'm looking on your site. And some other stuff too, man. So, do y'all send out email blasts, or do we just have to check your site? Both, but you know, it depends. You, if you're not on a certain list of ours, you won't get it. So, you'll get some of our emails, but you got to check our site also. Okay, how how can I get on your email blast? You're on it. You're on it. It's just you're tagged for certain areas, so you're on it. You'll get our emails. Okay, because a friend of mine is the one that gave me that one. I didn't get it from anything. He, he sent it to me. There should be a spot on fastwholesaledeals.com to sign up for our buyers list. Fastwholesaledeals.com. Yep, fastwholesaledeals.com. Okay, thank you, brother. I'll talk to you soon. All right, talk soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Hello. Hey, you wanted to see our property on Robbie Street in Corpus Christi? Uh, yes, I was uh, inquiring about it earlier. Okay, are you, um, you're an end buyer, not trying to re-wholesale it? No, I'm not a wholesaler, I'm an investor. Okay, um, sounds good. Uh, did you run comps and look at the photos and you think you'd be around what we're asking for it? Uh, I haven't ran any comps. I wanted to look at the property, see if it's worth my time to even spend any more. Well, it would be a waste of time for me to schedule an appointment for you to look at it if you haven't even ran numbers on it, right? Because so, I mean, my wife's one of the top 100 realtors in the coastal band. I mean, it wouldn't be difficult for me at all to get the, the, the numbers, but I mean, if you're really not that interested in selling the house, I don't need to waste my time either. So We're highly interested in, you. we're very interested in selling the house. It's just yeah, one. You don't it, sound like it. I, mean, I am. I am. I am for sure very interested. I'm just trying to ask you, why would you want to go see it without running comps? Because, for example, let's say we're asking 110 for it, which is what we're asking. But then when you go run comps, you think it's only worth 40,000. Then it would be a waste of time to even go look at it. So I would think you would want to run some comps on it first, right? If it's if our numbers are that far off then one of us don't know how to do their business. Okay, well, our numbers aren't off, so, I mean, when do you want to see it? Okay. Well, I, was, I tried to call yesterday, and then I tried to find out today, and I guess we're playing phone tag today. Yeah. But, I mean, okay. tomorrow work? What time tomorrow? Tomorrow afternoon, about 5 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to try to get that scheduled with you with the homeowner. 
I'm not trying to, I wasn't trying to be rude. I'm just trying to, I try to vet people, you know, because people will want to go walk something, but they haven't even looked at the photos or the numbers. And then it's like, dude, you haven't even looked at the deal. What's the point in seeing it? So that's all. I just want to make sure, you know, that it's not a waste of time, but, uh, sounds like you're, you're, you're the real deal, real buyer. I'll, I'll manage my time. Don't even worry about that. If you can schedule it, great. If not, then that's fine. I have no problem. I haven't invested anything else, so it's okay. Yeah, I just don't want to, you know, the seller can only do so many walkthroughs. That's why I try to keep it to a minimum. But uh, sounds like you're very interested in the deal and your wife and you know, and you're a good investor in the area. So uh, I'm going to try to get it scheduled. Um, so your name's Marco? Correct. All right, I'm going to call the homeowner now. And when you go to the, and then I'll call you back once I have it confirmed, okay? Okay. All right, talk soon. Bye. I don't even know why I'm having this guy walk it if he hasn't ran comps. Like, that doesn't make any sense, but whatever. <laughs> Let's just do it. Eddie, hello? I heard Santa Claus was at Walmart. That's where I'll be. No answer from the seller. <laughs> Hello, Eddie. Hello. Hey, Eddie. Yeah. Hey, could we could we see the property tomorrow at five? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, my team. Oh, yeah. All right, my team member Marco is gonna come walk through the property real quick tomorrow at five. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, Eddie. You have a good night. Okay. You too. Hey Marco, so he said 5 p.m. is good tomorrow. His name is Eddie. Um, okay. When you go, you can just say that you're with Jacob and our company's I Buy America, okay? I Buy America? Yep, that's our company. Okay. All right, so if he asks, I'll... just say, hey, I'm here on behalf of Jacob, I Buy America, and yep, go there at five and then call me back after and we'll see if we can put a deal together. Okay, sounds good, thank you. All right, thanks. All right, one other thing to do today and then that'll be it. Hey, it's Jacob. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Doing good. Um, so I have a buy I I have a buyer that wants to see the property. Um, okay. Is there a day and time that's good for you? 
What what day and time is the best for you? Um, tomorrow's Tuesday. Could you tomorrow? Tuesday or Wednesday? Could you tomorrow? Huh? Could you tomorrow? Tomorrow at two thirty? Tomorrow at two thirty? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, we're going to... I'm to go get my kids for school at 310, so y'all have to be done. Okay, it's sounds good. Time frame. Okay. okay, that sounds good, all right? We'll have that buyer go there. They're also going to take photos of the property, okay? Tomorrow at 230? Yep. Okay. All right, thank you so much. You have a great night. You too. Bye. Hello, Ms. Lee. Hey, so that's good for her. She'll open the door for you tomorrow at 2.30. Um, okay. My name's Jacob, and our company's I Buy America. So if she asks, you can say you're on behalf of us. And then... Okay. If, if you could, can you take photos of the property for me when you're there of every room and the front of the house? Yeah, absolutely. I will do that. That's, yep. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. And then just call me after, okay? All right. Will do. Thanks. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, we just scheduled two buyer walkthroughs, spoke to a few cash buyers. We spoke to multiple motivated sellers on this call. Overall, it was a great video of me wholesaling real estate live. Let me turn the lights on in here. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it valuable. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also go down below, hit the red button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me reach more people. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. And also remember to go get your full demo of the whole scale CRM at wholescalecrm.com. Go get the full demo of that. And remember, there's links in the description down below for every single thing that I use in my wholesaling business. So make sure to check that out. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.